welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Jamie and today I'm going to give you a full walk around video on this 2019 GLX Plus Triton. Now we'll start off at the front. As you can see, you get that really nice aggressive style look that the uh, GL oh, the, sorry, the Triton tends to have. Now with the GLX, you don't actually get the chrome in the actual um, dynamic shield as Mitsubishi likes to call it. You just get the uh, color matched um, dynamic shield, I should say, but you do get your fog lights and your indicators fitted uh, into the bumper itself as well. You, all can, you can also see that you get the nice blacked out grille and then those really nice stylish headlights as well. Now we'll come around and we'll look at our first alloy wheel. I apologise the wheel is a bit dirty but as you can see they've gone with the, uh, the six spoke design. Uh, is an alloy wheel so being a base model car but the plus you do get the updated alloy wheels which again look fantastic and are more durable as well. Now this one does have the safari snorkel on it as well. So obviously if you do want to go uh, for a bit of off-roading or things like that, it is going to uh, definitely help you out in that sort there as well. Your side indicator is uh, fitted right un uh, underneath that snorkel as well. You can also get the plastic uh, color matched, oh sorry, the blacked out side mirrors and the side door handles as well. And as you can see, they really contrast well with that white paint. You can also see that you get the side step fitted as well. So obviously getting into the car will make it easier if you're um, shorter than I am. Take a look inside the vehicle itself. As you can see, you do get um, the seat that you can obviously adjust the backrest and the height of the seat as well. You get the vinyl floors, which obviously are going to make it easy to clean the vehicle with the rubber floor match, which is another good thing to note as well. And as you can see, you get the plastic trim that almost covers the whole door seal to actually stop any wear and tear getting inside and out of the car as well. Now, we'll note none of these windows have been tinted, so I, would do, I do recommend you do take advantage and talk to us about getting window tint fitted to this vehicle as well. We'll keep working our way down towards the tub. We'll come to the back of the vehicle. Now you will notice that the reverse camera is on the left-hand side of the vehicle and people ask me that why don't they just put in the middle because when you parallel park, uh, you usually park to the left-hand side because we drive on the right-hand side so you get better vision if it's actually on the left-hand side of the vehicle. You also have color matched reverse parking sensors and then as you can see you have your, your chrome badging on the back of the car as well. Now we'll take a look inside the tub. As you can see, heaps of storage with your tie down points. Now, I would highly recommend that you do talk to us about getting a tub line in this vehicle, not only just to uh, stop damage in the actual back of the car, but also for the noise as well. I mean, if you're putting tools in the back of the car, steel on steel isn't the, uh, isn't the most pleasant noise, I must say. Keep working our way down. As you can see, really nice tail lights as well. Similar to the Bajero Sport, but obviously a bit shorter as the Bajero Sport is uh, a lot wider. You do get the rear mud flaps as well, so that's obviously going to help the cars behind you, um, stop them from getting stone chips and things like that. You do get the uh, fuel door on the passenger side, so if you do need to fill up, at least you know on the safe side of the vehicle. Quickly take a look in the back of the car as well. You will notice, uh, you, will notice you have the J shape to get in the car. Uh, that is uh, special to the Mitsubishi and especially the Triton, so it does make getting in and out of the car easier. And actually the backrest on the car sits further back, so you sit more comfortable as well. We'll keep working our way down, back towards the front of the vehicle and as you can see that gives you an, uh, a whole walk around video on the exterior of the vehicle so we'll jump underneath the bonnet now and we'll start talking about some of the engine features. Alright guys, now taking a look underneath the bonnet, so what we have here is a 2.4 4 cylinder turbo diesel engine producing 133 kilowatts and also 430 newton meters of torque. You do get a 6 speed sports automatic gearbox in the vehicle as well, 75 diesel capacity tank that will give you really good fuel consumption. It gives you, on average, 8.6 litres to the 100k. So on, a, on an average tank of fuel, and that's out of 75 litres, you're gonna expect anywhere up from 872 kilometres. Guys, now take a look inside the interior. Start you off on the driver's side door. We have all your power windows. The driver's window is actually automatic, and that's up and down. And then you also have your central locking as well. Now behind the steering wheel, you have all your mirror controls. You also have your front end mitigation warning. You have the lane departure warning as well. So what those two features are, front end mitigation warning, if you're going over 65 kilometers an hour and someone suddenly hits the brake and you don't, the car will start actually assist you in braking and start slowing down itself. And then your lane departure warning, if you get too close to the white lines, the car will actually beep you and tell you to move back over. You got your traction control button, so you can turn that off and on if for any reason you need to. And then on your right hand stalk, you have your indicators, your fog lights, and also your headlights. The headlights are automatic, so you can just leave it on order and do the work for you. And then you got your windscreen wiper, uh, which is also automatic as well. 
Now the steering wheel, which is a good thing to note, is actually telescopic. So as you can see, you can lift it up and down and back and forwards, which is always handy. On the right hand side is where you have all your cruise control settings. Button here just to flick through the main screen. And then you also got the back button as well. And then on the left hand side is where you have all your media controls and then your Bluetooth controls down the bottom. Now moving into the main entertainment system now, as you can see, you do have a really nice touchscreen display. It does have AM, FM radio, digital radio as well does have Bluetooth as I mentioned before as well, USB and AUX and also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Now moving just down below again, oh sorry I should mention, it actually does as I mentioned before at the back of the car, the reverse camera as you can see, you do see more on the left hand side of things as the camera is on the left hand side of the vehicle. Moving down is where you have all your climate control settings, so uh, it is a single zone climate control, so your temperature on the left hand side and your fan speed on the right hand side and then where you actually want the air and if you want the AC or the demister in the middle as well. Down below you have a couple lights up here that actually light up to let you know who's not wearing the seatbelt and then your uh, hazard lights as well. You do have the buttons to turn off your rear parking sensors, um, so if they're driving you nuts you can actually turn them off. And then you have your HDMI and your two USB ports as well. You do also get a 12 volt socket and a, a really good amount of storage down here as well. Now as I mentioned before, your six speed automatic gearbox, you can drive it as a normal automatic or you can flick it across to what, what they call the sport shift and then you can actually shift through the gears manually. Your four wheel drive selector, so you do have two high, four high and four low and you can go from two high to four high up to 100 kilometers an hour. You do have two cup holders, your manual handbrake that is leather wrapped. You also have the nice leather wrapped which is really soft um, center console as well. Inside the center console, as you can see, a good amount of storage and another 12 volt socket as well. So I'll just get the camera person just to pan around, show you what the GLX Triton looks like inside um, for a, a sort of entry model uh, Triton, it does have a lot of features. I mean, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, has uh, lane departure warning, front and mitigation warning, automatic headlights and wipers, and much, much more. Rear sensors and reverse camera as well. So as you can see, for a entry level vehicle, the car does have plenty of features. Totally, that's given you a really good representation of the features of the GLX Plus Triton. Now, if you do see yourself owning this car for a long time, yes, this car obviously does have the manufacturer's warranty, but if you do want to extend it for another five years, up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electric protection, we do offer a service plan here that's going to give you unlimited claims up to $3,600 per claim. Now, a couple of other things I'd like to talk to you about. Oh, sorry, I didn't mention it also comes with 10 years of premium roadside assist as well. Now, as I was mentioning, some things I do want to talk to you about as well. would highly recommend if you are investing uh, this car as a work vehicle, you probably kit this out with not only the window tint, but also probably some da dash cameras front and rear as well. To obviously protect your investment, you are investing a good amount of money into a car. I mean, you would want to protect it for the future as well. Now, before I go, we'd also like to talk to you about our uh, Google reviews. We do have a 4.8 star rating out of five, that is. Uh, with 990 reviews from our Australia-wide customers and hopefully that gives you the peace of mind that you're buying a fantastic car from the right people and the right dealership as well. Remembering that you are buying a Triton, Mitsubishi Triton from a Mitsubishi dealer as well. Again, number to call 9907055. My name is Jamie and thank you for watching.